question to acquire the guidance. Hope that answers the question. Next question. Why do some Muslims write 786 for Bismillah? Is it correct? The question posed was that why do people, some Muslims, write 786 for Bismillah and is it correct? There are some of the Muslims who have given certain numerical values for certain Arabic alphabets. And when you add up this value, you get a certain figure. So the people, some people are 786, because if you add up the value of Ba, Seen, Bismillah, each letter of, of Bismillah, if you add up the value, it comes to a total of 786. Similarly, some people write 92 for Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you add up the value of each letter of his name, it comes to 92. Whether it's right or wrong, I do not find any Sai Hadith or any Quranic verses which agrees with the system of shortcut. There are some Muslims who argue with me and tell me that see, since we cannot write the Arabic Bismillah Rahman name on invitation cards, on the letter, therefore we write 786. I said, if you can't write the Arabic portion, write the transliteration. Bismillah ar-Rahman name, B-I-S-M-I-L-L-A-H, no problem. Otherwise, write the translation. If the person doesn't know Arabic also, he can understand in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. And this sickness of numericals, values, is present in various societies throughout the world. Some people consider number 13 as unlucky. Number 666. 666 is a sign for the devil. In the Indian context, we use 400 bees, 420, for a person who is a fraud. This 420 number has certain logical base. Many of us don't know. The reason we call a fraud or a person who cheats a 420 is because if he is arrested and if he goes to a court of law, the Indian Court of Law will give him a punishment under the Indian Penal Code 420. So Indian Penal Code 420 gives the punishment for a fraud. Therefore we call a fraud a charge of 420. But unfortunately even the Muslims which migrate to America and UK, they call the robbers of UK also 420. <laughs> See there, there the number will be different, only 420. People don't know the meaning but they use the charge of 420. But even if I agree with these people that certain Arabic numerals have certain value. But logically speaking, giving a particular number by totaling the letters of that word and using it as a short form is illogical because that same number can be used even for other words. Some may be good, some may be bad. For example, if I say the English letter B, it has got numerical value 1, A has got 7 and uh, say D has got 4. If you add up it comes to 12. 1 plus 4 plus 7, 12. B plus A plus D, 12. Suppose I say that for G, the numerical value is 2. For O, it is 3. And for D, it is 4. So if I add up G plus G plus O plus O plus D, it will come 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, 12. So if I use 12 short form for good, it also means bad. So similarly, 7 and 6, if you add up the Arabic numerals, even if it comes to 7 and 6, there will be several other words and several other sentences. The total will also come to 7 and 6. Some will be good, some will be bad. Therefore, I do not agree with any Muslim writing shortcut numericals for Bismillah ar-Rahman or for any Arabic word of the Holy Quran. Hope that answers the question.